Hey guys, what's up? This is Zygotardy2744 here today to do a demo slash review of the assistive touch feature added in iOS 5 beta 3. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right to it. So here's assistive touch right on the home menu, but I'm going to go ahead and go into settings, go to general, scroll down to accessibility, and go ahead and click on that. Scroll down to the bottom and you'll see assistive touch. You'll need to go ahead and press on it to activate that. Here Apple explains assistive touch as assistive touch allows you to use iPod if you have difficulty touching the screen or if you require an adaptive accessory. And then at the bottom there it also has your gestures and which I'll explain further later. So here's the assistive touch main menu basically including gestures, favorites, device, as well as home. First things first, you can move assistive touch around in either of the four corners, much like FaceTime allows you to do. And as you guys can see, also in an application, assistive touch does not disappear. So here, clicking on assistive touch, like you said, you have the options to view gestures, device, favorites, and home. Basically, home just represents the home button. You click on it, and it does everything that the home button can do. You go into an application such as Safari, click home, and you go to home. Basically, the home button does everything like I said you click double home and it takes you to the multitasking menu now on to device device shows that this is obviously still beta everything is overlapping in the device menu but you do get the options to rotate your screen volume down and volume up lock screen as well as shake now here's the volume up and volume down demo basically the volume shows up behind the screen so it's kind of hard to see you also have the option to lock your device straight from that menu. Bad thing is you cannot unlock it from that menu as well because your screen is not turned on. So going back into here, going back into the device, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the rotate screen. Basically, it does not rotate on the home screen as it wouldn't on the iPhone and iPod Touch, but it will probably on the iPad. Here, if you're in an application like Safari, uh, you can switch in between left, right, portrait, and so on. And as you guys can see, it's not exactly perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of Safari, click back, and go into gestures. Basically, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about gestures, but instead of using one or two fingers, you can go ahead and use one finger to operate as you would with three fingers on an iOS device. It's really confusing to me and seems pretty hard to use. So here is the three finger controls with only one finger. I'm going to go ahead and show you favorites. Favorites has things like pinch which is obviously still representing beta and then of course your swipe which is what you're on as default but I'm going to go ahead and go to pinch and show you guys how this uses and it's actually pretty hard to use as you guys can see I'm zooming and it all works out but then when it's time to actually scroll along it is very hard to do so without it saying basically I don't want to zoom anymore and every time I touch the screen it makes it zoom and as you guys can see, it just crashed out of Safari, which it does do that in beta every now and then. So assistive touch, it seems to be a very, very mixed up feature, but at the same time, it's also pretty cool. Thank you for watching. This is Agatardi2744. Please be sure to go ahead and subscribe for more of our iOS devices. I'm making about daily videos now. Please also feel free to go ahead and visit in the description below. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. As well as check out the articles I've posted on my new website, iosnova.com, about the assistive touch feature. Now, lots of people were also saying that this might be hinting towards an iPhone or new iPad without any buttons at all. Honestly, I just see this as another accessibility tool. Thank you for watching once again, and please be sure to go ahead and comment and thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. This is Agatardi2744.